This module is an introduction to arrays. An array is a single variable that can hold a collection of values. Arrays allow a collection of values of the same type to be stored together under the same identifier, which makes them very useful. An array has a fixed length that can be term determined in different ways, but can only contain as many items as its length allows. So there's a specific size to the array that you will determine at the beginning of the program. Individual locations within the array are called the array's elements. When we say the word element, we often mean the value that's stored in that element. This is an example for the setup of an array. These, this array has five elements with the data provided in each box. The identifier of the array, or the name of the array, is xmen. The numbers above each box represent the index of the element. In this array, the second element would be the name Colossus, while the index of Colossus is 1. Think of an array like a street that has many houses on it. Those houses will be numbered and represent specific positions on that street. On one side of the street, the houses may be even numbers. On the other side, they may be odd numbers. But we can still think of it in terms of an array. Now, a pizza delivery place needs to know a few pieces of information in order to get a pizza to you. You would first need to give them the name of your street, which is like giving them the identifier or the name of the array. Then you would need to give them your number address or the house number, which is also like an index. The value might then be the pizza that you're ordering as if you're ordering a pepperoni pizza. So then what you would be giving the pizza place would be Brock Road as your identifier, the index would be 700, and you're ordering a pepperoni pizza, which represents the value at that point in an array. An array is first declared using the type with square brackets and the identifier. Space must also be created for the array to contain a specific number of elements. Those number of elements go in the square brackets here for num. As an example, let's create the array for x-men. So the type for x-men is string with square brackets, and the name or the identifier for my array is xmen. I will then create space for the array, and there will be five elements. Keep in mind the difference between when we're talking about elements and index. There are five elements in the xmen array, but the index runs from zero to four. So starting at 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 represents 5 elements.